Hi Sagittarius, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot, and this is going to be your monthly reading for the month of July. As usual, we start by lighting the Palo Santo to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. It's so nice here in New York. The weather today is like, it seems like it's like 80 degrees and the breeze is so nice. Um, my boyfriend and I are going to this art residency open art day today in Woodstock. Should be super fun. Yeah, it's just one of those days where it's like you feel so free and the energy is really nice. All right, Sagittarius, if you feel called, go ahead and inhale and exhale. Nice lighting. No major issues with lighting of the Palo Santo. Nice and relaxed. <clears throat> yeah, there's a very calm energy here feels like peace there's a lot of signs that are feeling a lot of peace right now which is exciting let's go ahead and check your chakra sag oh interesting your sacral is the one okay so sacral chakra orange sensuality, sexuality, two inches below the navel. And this is the chakra that we are going to look into for this month. So um, we're gonna use the tarot Nefertari to look at the energy of your sacral and how to work with that energy. So Sages, sacral for July. The 10 of wands in reverse and how to work with this energy is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Wow, that's a lot there. Two tens, right? So, Sag, you're coming to the end of something big, something you've been dealing with for a long time. And this can be emotional stress. These, This also can be physical stress, right? With just burnout, right? In terms of your creativity, in terms of your sensuality, in terms of your connection to your body, okay? You are coming to the end of a cycle regarding this burnout energy, okay? A way to work with this energy is 10 of swords in reverse. It's time for you to acknowledge that the worst part of it is over, right? The worst part of it is over and this this heavy weight on your shoulders is coming to an end okay this is really beautiful energy and it's it's not going to be here for long whatever stress you've been going through whatever burdens you've been going through heavy energy regarding you and your life force right because the belly button is where that energy from the mother to the child comes in the womb right is from that navel which is why in so many Eastern cultures, your Lord Dantian, which is two inches below the navel, is your source of life, right? Is your source of life. And it's almost like you have been feeling, for some of you, you could be feeling lethargy. You're trying to push through all the time, push through, right? Feeling drained, feeling just heavy weight. July is a month for levity. July is a month for a heightened sense of life force within your body which is beautiful. And this definitely attributes to your body and your mind. Okay. So that concludes the chakra portion of the reading. Let's go ahead and pull 
an um, archetype card by Kim Kranz. Divine timing is on your side, Sag, okay? Everything's happening in perfect timing, okay? So the storm in reverse with the seed. Now the storm is slightly sideways. It's not completely in reverse, right? So there could be things in your life this month that that are going to be falling away, okay? And I've never seen this before on this card. <laughs> If you can see that close, there's a pair of very small eyes looking up through the storm, right? And I'm picking up right now that that is your inner child fearful that everything around you is falling apart, okay? Things are not falling apart. You're perceiving it as things are falling apart, okay? But your inner child knows what you're going through and is like, everything's going to be okay. You just have to surrender, right? You have to surrender. There are seeds within your mind that are being planted this month that are going to cultivate into some sort of abundance this month. But you have to allow certain cycles, right? The number 10 is a completion of a cycle. You have to allow certain cycles to close out for you to be able to feel this abundance, right? This can be mental loops. This can be a job. This can be how we're having our morning routine, right? This can be certain relationships with friends or partners or family members, right? Acquaintances, any of those things that you feel like are just dragging you down, you're going to have to release them. You're going to have to release them. And that's hard to do for some people, right? But if you really value yourself, then open communication about why people are making you feel a certain way. People don't have your back. People are not supporting you in the ways that you want to be supported. At the, at the end of the day, July is going to be a month for you to use your time wisely. Use your time wisely. Every day is sacred. Every day is very meaningful. And when we realize how significant our time is, generally that happens as we get older, right? And the idea of mortality starts to creep into our, our consciousness, right? You realize that time is precious and who you spend your time with is important, okay? And how they impact you and your energy is very important. So let's go ahead and pull some cards for you. I've been very called to use the mushroom tarot lately, which is really nice. I love the mushroom tarot. Eight of Wands in reverse. Don't rush this process. Everything is going to work out, okay? Nine of Swords with the Seven of Cups with the Two of Cups. And I have the Temperance here, which is your card. You wanted to sneak out there, even though I only wanted to pull three. We go with what Tarot wants us to do. So, things on the whole, right, are working out. Three of Pentacles there, okay? you are experiencing a little bit of stress, okay? This can be work stress. This can be inability to sleep at night. This can be rumination within the wee hours of the night, right? Nine of Swords is all about our thought process. And you're in a period right now where you are going to reach a certain level of peace. By the time the month is over, you are going to reach a certain level of peace. But right now, Nine of Swords, you're in a little bit of stress and there is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, especially as we become, you know, adults and responsibilities start to take form and things start to change. 9-11 and life is just happening to us, right? This is us getting a grip, a firm grip on our lives, right? We're no longer going to be taken by the tides of our life. We are saying, this is what I want. This is what I want. And I'm going to make it happen. Okay. This seven of cups here can cause a lot of confusion for us, right? Venus in Scorpio. This is, is deep emotion. Okay. Cups are emotion, right? And your emotions in the beginning of the month with that nine of swords are a little bit all over the place. You can feel a little bit scatterbrained, right? 
with our responsibilities. Sag, if you don't have a routine in your life already on which days you do your laundry, which days you pay your bills, the breakfast that you're going to have each day, when you're going to go grocery shopping, all of those little things, your brain should not have to worry about when you're doing those things. 10, 10. Your brain should know you have a routine for those very basic functions, okay? There are, are, when I was in school for exercise science, I had a teacher and this teacher, forgive me, I forget which class that it was. It may have even, I don't think it was martial arts, Bud, history of Buddhism or something like that. The man was a Buddhist, right? And what he said was, I'm a simple man and life is already complicated as it is. I don't want to have to use brain power to make certain choices. So I'm going to keep everything the same. Some people could consider this a very um, minimalistic lifestyle. Some could say it's boring, right? He wears the same thing every day. He wears the same outfit every day, the same type of shirt. He might change the color, has a couple of different shirts, the same style, different color, same pants, 1111. You, your, your wardrobe might be something that you want to kind of get solid there, right? You don't want to have stress regarding what you're going to wear. That's not all so fun to have, okay? Um, and he ate the same thing every day, okay? So he, he spent Sunday evening before work in the morning. He did a nine to five at the school. He ate the same thing every day for lunch and he meal prepped for a couple of hours on Sunday and then had all of his lunches ready for him for the entire week. Some people enjoy the novelty of cooking. So if that's for you, this message is not for you, but at the end of the day, what small things can you adjust so you don't have to stress about those? Nothing's worse than a, a long day at work, right? And your partner goes, what do you want for dinner, babe? And it takes you both a half an hour to figure out what you're going to eat. And no one knows what they want and things are starting to close and like it just gets stressful. No one likes that, 12-12. So, so how can you simplify certain things? get more structured, get more routine, okay, get these systems into place. So because your brain is like a cell phone, okay, it only has so much battery, right? And so funny, my battery on my phone just notified me that I have a certain percentage left, right? So further confirmation that yes, you're using a little bit too much brain power on things that you should already have in the bag, certain routines that you should already have in the bag. You have an energy of love coming through here, okay? Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. This is beautiful. Next to Sagittarius, right? Sag, you have love. You have harmony. You have balance coming into your life. Temperance is the, it's the temperance angel, right? So you have a lot of peace coming in, okay? A lot of peace coming in here and... If you are in a love situation already, or if you are seeking love, you are going to be experiencing a harmony within that relationship, okay? This is peace. This is peace. This is you being on the same page as somebody. This is the energy between the two of you feeling very, I'll use the word again, harmonious. There's just a lot of harmony coming in for you, Sag. And I know that that has not been extremely prevalent for you for about almost a year now okay if you're new here then take that as it resonates but for a lot of the sages there's been some discord in the romantic sphere okay so this is good news all right let's go ahead and pull three cards i want to use the muse first let's do Let's do four cards to clarify the Nine of Swords, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Temperance. Two of Cups upright again. Wow. Five of Swords in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay. So Page of Cups, the Tower in reverse as we see over here. Okay. So if you've been feeling quite vulnerable right? If you've been feeling quite vulnerable, if you've been feeling as though you, 
you've been trying to like avoid disaster in many ways, okay? You also could be stressing at the beginning of the month about this love situation, right? But things are going to ease themselves out as the month comes to an end, okay? Two of cups here. If you've been stressing, am I going to find love? Is our love going to work out? This is, you know, a little bit confusing. Are we on the same page about all of these things? Is this the right relationship? Are things going to go somewhere, right? That is um, a stress that is going to be alleviated, okay? The Five of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Cups. So all of this confusion that you've been experiencing, okay, you may over time have developed some trust issues, okay? And trust issues are not fun to have in general, but you're coming to a point where your trust issues are going to start to soothe themselves out and your body is going to feel safe, okay? Your body is going to feel safe you're going to feel as though you don't have to constantly be on edge of, do I have to watch my back? Is this person trustworthy? Do I have to worry about them doing something that's going to make me feel weird or uncomfortable? That's smoothing itself out, okay, in a very big way. And it's almost like you're really, I just keep using the word harmony. You're just coming into harmony with the world around you, okay? The chariot in reverse with the two of cups here. Now, the chariot in reverse can imply not like no forward motion here, okay? But with the two of cups being upright with this chariot in reverse, it's almost... It's almost as though, so she's here, right? And she's sending this energy out. She's constantly sending energy outwards and trying to make things happen, trying to make things happen. Here it is. Instead of having to put so much effort into making things happen, this month, you're going to be receiving things to you, finally. Okay? because you're someone who puts a lot of work into everything you do, you're reaping the rewards of all of the work that you've been putting in to your situation, to your life, okay? So if you've had trials and tribulations in the love sphere, or if your romantic partnership has had some ups and downs here, right? Those ups and downs are gonna be smoothing themselves out and it's not gonna feel like you're trying to get to the finish line, you're actually going to feel like you're in like this vacation space where it's not all about this rushing and pushing and exertion. It's more of like a now we're finally able to sit on a raft in the middle of a lake and just sit there and be in the energy that is the two of you, okay? That's really nice. Now, you are going to have balance within the mental sphere about something that you haven't been able to wrap your head around. Two of Swords in reverse, Moon in Libra, is deep emotions regarding our ability to have balance in a situation within our mind. And with it being in reverse, something that's had like your brain just like can't figure it out, it's confusing, it's complex, it's checkmate energy, there is balance being restored to that situation. Take that how it resonates for you, okay? But you're going to have, um, there's just a lot of mental peace coming in for you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and use the Tarot Nefertari to pull some advice. The star... The star is all about us feeling like ourselves, feeling like we have a lot of energy, excited about the future, the chariot in reverse again. The advice is ace of wands. 
the lover in reverse and the knight of cups in reverse with the chariot in reverse ace of cups here okay so i want you to clarify this lover in reverse please lover in reverse is the eight of cups okay so for some of you guys it goes back to if there is an energy of love that you have not been able to release from your energy field it's very important that you release that energy, okay? Because going into a new relationship or continuing in your relationship that you currently have, if you're holding on to the energy of someone that unrequited love, whatever, whatever, someone that maybe left you, maybe you left somebody else, right? Or this can be you saying, is this it? is this the partnership that I'm going to be committing to, right? Is this my person? Can I fully let myself be in this? This is more of a you've questioned or you have not been able to let go. However that resonates for you, right? It's imperative that for you to feel fresh, abundant, new energy, ace of wands energy, okay? Especially in ace of wands is the perfect sacral chakra energy right sexual energy you have to let go of love that did not work okay fresh slate clean slate you don't want to bring that kind of of energy into a new relationship it's not fair for any of the parties involved okay so the chariot in reverse again clarifying the chariot in reverse right things are coming to you you're putting yourself in a receptive mode instead of this like dominant masculine charging forward energy okay you're more so saying i'm gonna sit back and i'm gonna let things come to me the knight of cups is a very romantic energy here if this is you or if this is someone coming into your sphere the knight of cups is someone that is very effusive romantic affectionate and deep okay they have every intention of communicating how they feel to somebody so it's going to be a month where if you have not had love fresh energy is going to come in here and if you've had love and you've been in a relationship you're going to be releasing some more karmic energies from the past and they're kind of like fully out of your system and this new love feeling is going to wash over the relationship that you're currently in okay so let's go ahead and pull a plant spirit for you Sag. Okay, we have Pocket of Protection with Yarrow. In older times, Yarrow traveled with warriors. While her official job was staunching wounds, keeping the insides and the outsides out, her presence brought bravery to the soldiers she kissed. Today, she has much the same task. Yarrow assists you in keeping your boundaries, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual. She creates personal pockets of protection so you can slow down, gather your strength, and find your courage. Yarrow reminds you that boundaries are not just keeping, not just for keeping the outside from coming in, but also for keeping yourself from leaking out, letting thought and emotions run rampant in the world. Yarrow will create a bubble of protection, a bit of sacred space within which you can regroup, regenerate, and recreate yourself. 
reestablish personal space. In order to ask Yero to hold a little space for us, we need to know what space we're asking her to hold. Close your eyes and pretend you're inside a glass bubble. Some people would call this glass bubble your aura. You can think of it that way or stick with glass bubble if that's more comfortable for your mind. Run your fingers along the inside of your bubble. Feel the edges of your body's energy. Willingly suspend your disbelief and trust your fingers. I will tell you, this is an exercise that actually changes your life because when you realize that your aura does spread six feet out from you, right? So when COVID happened and we were doing a six foot dif dis distance, I found it very peculiar that the aura is six feet in distance and we were being required to keep a six foot distance, implying stay away from each other's six foot aura. And I think COVID has really allowed us as humans to realize the distance between each other's auras. And if you notice now, everyone has a pretty interesting relationship to personal space after COVID, which I find quite interesting. Is your bubble smooth and whole? Are there areas that feel in need of shoring up? If you feel a gap in your bubble, your aura, call on Yarrow to help you recreate the boundaries of your personal space. Can you say no? Yarrow has enthusiastically adapted to modern times. She helps us all establish personal space and hold boundary lines. Remember though, that she's a partner, not a guard dog. In order for Yarrow to do her job, you have to learn to say one magic word, no. These two letters can be tough to spit out. If you're concerned about being nice or cooperative, you may find yourself saying yes or maybe when your heart is actually saying no. How does saying no sit with you? Are you able to say no to being overextended or protect the dreamy little bubble Yarrow offers you? In one healing charm for gathering Yarrow, the healer says the plant is being gathered so their hand will be more brave, their foot will be more swift, and their speech like the beams of the sun. Sharon Pace, Mechliod, Celtic Myth and Religion. Interesting. <clears throat> So let's see, I think I'm going to pull one more card and then we will close it off for you, Sagittarius. Let's do the ter um, Unfurling Goddess, excuse me. The sunlight of forgiveness has no end solar plexus chakra let the pure soul fire burn through inherent belief that hides personal potential let us learn to turn towards the wheel of forgiveness seven times towards freshness again fresh energy coming through here for sure let us forgive the blindness of desire and envy and embrace the light of simplicity guided by the spirit of fun she asked me to forgive myself so we could play our part. She asked me to forgive myself so we could embody good spirits. She asked me to forgive myself simply because it was time. She said she would wait because where we were going was timeless. Yes, I just, so I've definitely um, been reading for you for a while and it just seems like this month you're gonna have some peace within yourself, okay? A full body goosebumps, right? I think you're going to feel more whole and complete this month within yourself and just more trusting of your decisions that you're making and kind of uh, more in your body. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you. See you in August. Bye-bye.